Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for honoring the lives and legacies of the notable personalities who've left us. Together, we'll pay our respects to these extraordinary individuals, diving into the significant contributions they've made in our world. If our content touches you, don't forget to hit like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your participation enriches this journey of remembrance and tribute. Gary Kent, a fearless force in B-movie stunt performance and film direction. Gary Kent, a legendary figure known for his indomitable work in the B-movie scene, has passed away at the age of 89 on May 25, 2023. Kent's remarkable career, which spanned over half a century, saw him embrace multiple roles, a stuntman, actor and director. His son, Chris Kent, reported that his father had died at an assisted care facility in Austin. Kent, whose work was an inspiration for Brad Pitt's character in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, bravely faced perilous stunt challenges throughout his career. He notably suffered injuries during the filming of Richard Rush films like Hell's Angels on Wheels and The Savage Seven. Kent's resilience saw him remain active in the industry as a stunt coordinator, even after his career as a stunt performer ended due to an accident on the set of Bubba Hotep in 2002. Born on June 7, 1933 in Walla Walla, Washington, Gary Kent made his way into Hollywood in 1958. Throughout his extensive career, Kent acted in many notable movies, such as Targets, Psych Out, and Hell's Bloody Devils. His contributions to the film industry extend beyond acting and stunts. Kent also served as an assistant director on Dracula vs. Frankenstein and was a unit production manager on Phantom of the Paradise. In a 2018 interview with the Austin Chronicle, Kent shared his sentiment about having worked in what he called the golden age of stuntmen. His memoir, Shadows and Light, Journeys with Outlaws in Revolutionary Hollywood, was published in 2009, capturing his exciting career journey. His life and work are also documented in the 2018 film, Danger God. Kent leaves behind a legacy of fearless dedication to his craft. He is survived by his children, Chris, Greg, Colleen, Andrew, Alex and Michael, and his grandchildren, Ethan, Nicolette, Timothy and Hannah. Tributes to Gary Kent. Jefferson Machado, a beloved soap star, remembered in tragedy. Jefferson Machado, an esteemed South American soap opera actor, tragically passed away at the age of 44. His disappearance on January 27, 2023, resulted in a painstaking search that ended with a sorrowful discovery on May 26, 2023. Known for his role in the soap opera Race, Machado was found in a tragic circumstance in Campo Grande, Brazil, inside a trunk that was buried and encased in cement. This grievous loss has left a shocking ripple in the acting community and beyond. His performances in race cemented his legacy as an actor, and his ability to connect with audiences made him an adored figure in the industry. Off-screen, he was known for his love of animals, evident from his eight dogs who were found alone following his disappearance. Machado's attorney, Jairo Magalhe Pereira, mourned the actor's death while emphasizing a commitment to seek justice for his brutal end. Jefferson Machado's life, although tragically cut short, will forever be remembered through his powerful performances and the joy he brought to his audience. Tributes to Jefferson Machado Isaac Red Holt, a beat that resonated through generations. Isaac Red Holt, an icon in the American jazz and soul music scene, passed away on May 23, 2023, at the age of 91. As the drummer for the Ramsey Lewis Trio, his impeccable rhythm contributed to the 1965 Grammy Award-winning album, The In Crowd. Holt's journey began in Rosedale, Mississippi, but it was in Chicago where he honed his talents, playing alongside future collaborators Ramsey Lewis and L.D. Young in high school. His commitment to music took him around the world, from Germany during his service in the U.S. Army to Singapore in his later years. Holt's collaboration with L.D. Young in Young Holt Unlimited produced the gold record Soulful Strut, a number three hit in the United States. Following the group's dissolution, he continued to play under Red Holt Unlimited 
and committed to jazz education in Illinois. His dedication to the genre culminated in founding the Gumption Artist Workshop and releasing It's a Take with his trio at the East Bank Club in Chicago. Holt's influence can still be felt today. He not only created a lasting legacy in the world of jazz and soul music, but also inspired future generations to pick up the drumsticks. Tributes to Isaac Red Holt. Marlene Clark, a distinctive presence in Sanford and Sun and Horror Cinema. Marlene Clark, an actress remembered for her memorable performances in the 1970s sitcom Sanford and Son and the horror film Ganja and Hess, has passed away. She died on May 18, 2023, at her home in Los Angeles. The cause of death has not been specified. Clark's career began as a model, leading her to major acting roles such as in 1968's For Love of Ivy, alongside Sidney Poitier. She gained recognition for her portrayal of Lamont's fiance Janet in Sanford and Son and for her chilling performance as Ganja Meda in Ganja and Hess. Clark also featured in prominent films including Slaughter, Night of the Cobra Woman, Enter the Dragon, The Beast Must Die, and Switchblade Sisters. Born on December 19, 1937 in Harlem, Clark moved on from acting in the late 1980s showcasing her entrepreneurial spirit by managing a restaurant in Venice Beach, California, and opening her own clothing store. Clark was married to Star Wars actor Billy D. Williams from 1968 to 1971. Her enduring performances have left a significant imprint on the television and film industry. She will always be remembered for her contributions and her dynamic range as an actress. Tributes to Marlene Clark. Marc Boudreaux, a star in the universe of toy design. Marc Boudreaux, the renowned toy designer responsible for creating the legendary Star Wars Millennium Falcon playset among many other iconic toys, passed away on May 14, 2023, due to complications from COVID-19 at the age of 68. Born in 1955, Boudreaux joined Kenner in 1978 and played a vital role in the revolution of children's playtime for generations. Known for his pivotal part in the creation of the Star Wars, Batman and Jurassic Park toy lines, Boudreaux remained the brain behind every Millennium Falcon design up until the 2015 version for Star Wars The Force Awakens. His impact on the toy industry and consequently on millions of children worldwide cannot be overstated. Besides his most famed creations, he also modelled some action figures based on his own face, such as the Endor Rebel Soldier from Return of the Jedi. His work continued even after Kenner was bought by Hasbro, relocating to Rhode Island to continue his legacy. He retired in 2020 as the senior principal designer at Hasbro, leaving behind an enduring legacy in the world of toy design. Tributes to Marc Boudreaux Brian Shaw, an icon in the sky and on the ground. Celebrated aviator Brian Shaw, known for his tenacity and bravery as a Vietnam-era attack pilot and later as an SR-71 pilot, passed away due to cardiac arrest at the age of 75 on May 20, 2023. Shaw's story was one of resilience, from barely surviving being shot down over Vietnam to becoming an acclaimed public speaker and photographer. Born in 1948, Shaw flew 212 combat missions between 1970 and 1973, his illustrious career temporarily halted when he was shot down near the Cambodian border. However, his indomitable spirit shone through, and he flew again just two days after being released from the hospital. In the years following his return, Shaw piloted the iconic SR-71 Blackbird, further cementing his legendary status within the aviation community. His life took another turn after his retirement in 1990, when he transitioned into writing and photography. He published numerous books recounting his experiences and provided insightful histories of prestigious squadrons like the US Navy's Blue Angels and the Air Force's Thunderbirds. His love for photography, particularly nature and birds, 
flourished in this period, adding another dimension to his remarkable legacy. Through his engaging public speeches, he shared his adventures with audiences, adding humor and a touch of humanity to his extraordinary life experiences. Tributes to Brian Shull. Wolfgang Larkenmarker, a resilient icon in the handball arena. Wolfgang Larkenmarker, a world-class handball player who made significant contributions to the SC Magdeburg and the East German national team, passed away on May 25, 2023, at the age of 79. His immense talent and consistent performance on the court earned him acclaim, marking him as a giant in the sport of handball. Representing SC Magdeburg for a decade, Larkenmarker's prowess led the team to secure the East German Championship in 1970 and 1977. On the international stage, he made 198 appearances for the East German national team, earning runner-up status in the World Championships in 1970 and 1974. His team's performance at the 1972 Olympic Games in Munich, finishing fourth, is etched in sports history. Post his playing career, Lackenmarker transitioned into a coaching role, imparting his rich handball knowledge to the next generation. His legacy is further perpetuated by his son, Sven Lackenmarker, and granddaughter Mia Lackenmarker, both of whom are active participants in Bundesliga handball. His outstanding contributions to handball earned him a place in SC Magdeburg's Hall of Fame. Tributes to Wolfgang Lackenmarker. Dennis Earl Stoltz, a pivotal figure in American football. Dennis Earl Stoltz, an esteemed American football player and coach, passed away at his home in Midland, Michigan on May 25, 2023, at the age of 89. Born on September 12, 1933, in Lansing, Michigan, Stoltz dedicated his life to the sport of American football, leaving a lasting legacy. Stoltz's coaching career spanned across Alma College, Michigan State University, Bowling Green State University and San Diego. His impressive career record of 125-93-2 is a testament to his competence and dedication as a coach. Promoted to succeed Duffy Doherty as the head coach at Michigan State University in December 1972, Stoltz's tenure was marked by a recruiting scandal, which led to the NCAA placing the program on three years probation in January 1976. Despite the tumultuous circumstances, Stoltz's influence in American football was significant, contributing to the development and progress of the sport. Tributes to Dennis Earl Stoltz. Peggy Lee Leather, a formidable powerhouse in women's wrestling. Peggy Lee Leather, the former WWE star who once held the NWA World Women's Championship, passed away on May 22, 2023, at the age of 64. The news was confirmed by the Cauliflower Alley Club, expressing deep condolences to Leather's family, friends and fans. Leather began her wrestling career in the 1980s under the mentorship of WWE Hall of Famer, the fabulous Moolah. Over the course of her career, she competed across various promotions, including WWE, Stampede Wrestling, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, World Championship Wrestling and All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. Her hard-earned victories, including the LPWA Women's Championship and the NWA World Women's Championship, are testaments to her prowess and dedication. Retiring in 2013, Leather left behind an enduring legacy in the wrestling world, with memories of her powerful performances inspiring new generations. Tributes to Peggy Lee Leather. Rick Hoyt, the undaunted spirit of the Boston Marathon. Rick Hoyt, a celebrated wheelchair racer and symbol of the Boston Marathon, passed away on the 22nd of May 2023 at the age of 61. Despite being born with cerebral palsy and unable to use his arms or legs, Hoyt never let his condition define his limits. With his father Dick pushing his wheelchair, Hoyt competed in over 1,000 races worldwide, including 36 Boston Marathons. Their enduring partnership, 
known as Team Hoyt, remains a beacon of perseverance and determination, inspiring millions of individuals with disabilities to chase their dreams. The Hoyt Foundation commemorated his legacy, highlighting his indomitable spirit and the remarkable impact he and his father made in the world of endurance racing. Rick Hoyt personified the Yes You Can spirit, and his influence on the Boston Marathon and the broader community will never be forgotten. Tributes to Rick Hoyt Daniel Brooks, an unconventional visionary in Canadian theatre. Daniel Brooks, a prominent figure in Canadian theatre recognised for pushing the boundaries of his craft, passed away on May 22, 2023, at the age of 64, after a brave battle with lung cancer. Known for his innovative approach to directing, writing, acting and producing, Brooks's extensive career was marked by a consistent emphasis on creativity and connection. As described by his friend and collaborator Daniel McIver, Brooks was a teacher at heart, always embracing curiosity and promoting exploration in the theatre. Rejecting traditional rules, Brooks carved out his own distinctive artistic path, challenging norms and pushing his craft to new heights. His legacy of pioneering original and daring productions will continue to inspire and shape the future of Canadian theatre. Tributes to Daniel Brooks Bill Lee, a prolific jazz maestro and architect of cinematic scores. Bill Lee, the acclaimed jazz bassist and score composer for iconic films of his son Spike Lee, passed away on May 24, 2023 in his Brooklyn home at the age of 94. His cause of death has not been confirmed. Having played with legends like Bob Dylan, Duke Ellington, Aretha Franklin, Simon and Garfunkel, and Harry Belafonte, Bill Lee's musical prowess spanned genres and generations. He collaborated with Max Roach, leaving his mark on several of the drummer's records. His impressive career took a cinematic turn when he composed scores for Spike Lee's early films, starting with the groundbreaking She's Gotta Have It, followed by School Days, Do the Right Thing, and Mo Better Blues. His distinctive compositions contributed greatly to the emotive impact of these films, earning him acclaim in the cinematic world. Lee's legacy transcends his professional achievements, inspiring his son Spike, who once noted that everything he knew about jazz came from his father. His death marks the end of an era, but his legacy will echo in the realms of jazz and film scores. Tributes to Bill Lee. Ed Ames a versatile talent in music and television. Ed Ames, the charismatic pop singer and actor best known for his role as Mingo on the 1960s NBC series Daniel Boone, passed away on the 21st of May 2023 at the age of 95. Ames died at his Los Angeles home following a battle with Alzheimer's, as confirmed by his wife Jeanne. Born to Jewish immigrants from Ukraine, Ames, with his deep-toned baritone voice, emerged as a standout talent in music before transitioning to television. He, along with his brothers, formed the Ames Brothers, a successful quartet known for their rich harmonies. Their hits like Rag Mop, Sentimental Me and You 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 on RCA Records marked the pinnacle of their success. Transitioning to acting, Ames landed the role of Mingo on Daniel Boone after being spotted in a Broadway production. His memorable television moment came during a Tonight Show appearance, where his tomahawk throwing demonstration resulted in a memorable laugh for the audience, cementing his place in TV history. Ames's multifaceted career and enduring charisma will be remembered fondly by those who knew his work. In addition to his wife, Ames is survived by his children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Tributes to Ed Ames. Joy McKean, a trailblazing songwriter and pillar of Australian music. Joy McKean, celebrated songwriter and wife of the iconic Slim Dusty, passed away peacefully surrounded by family on May 25, 2023, at the age of 93. 
McKean's legacy is one of remarkable impact and profound influence on Australian music. Known as the woman behind some of Dusty's biggest hits, she is regarded by peers and fans alike as a trailblazer in the industry. Born in Singleton NSW, McKean discovered her passion for music early, thanks to her parents' encouragement. Along with her sister Heather, she became a revered performer, even hosting a half-hour live radio show. However, her talent truly shone when she met Slim Dusty in 1951, and their partnership resulted in over 100 albums and 45 golden guitars. Beyond her music, McKean was integral to Dusty's success, managing his prosperous career and co-authoring two of his autobiographies. Her influence extended to founding the Tamworth Country Music Festival and the Country Music Association of Australia, adding another layer to her contribution to the entertainment industry, for which she was awarded the Order of Australia in 1991. Survived by her children, Anne and David Kirkpatrick, Joy McKean will be remembered as a pioneering songwriter, a supportive partner, and an unwavering pillar of Australian music. Tributes to Joy McKean Gerald Castillo, a diverse talent, leaving a lasting legacy on stage and screen. Gerald Castillo, an accomplished stage and screen actor known for his roles in major TV series like Saved by the Bell and General Hospital, passed away at his home in Houston on May 4, 2023. He was 90. Born in Chicago in 1932, Castillo made his mark on the acting scene across the nation after studying acting and stage direction at the Goodman Theatre. His significant roles included Major Slater on Saved by the Bell and Judge Davis Wagner on General Hospital, earning him a devoted following. Throughout his career, Castillo worked with renowned actors like Sherman Hemsley, Rita Moreno, Jessica Tandy, and others. His extensive filmography includes Delta Force 2, Kinjite, Death Wish 4, and various others. Apart from acting, Castillo was also an esteemed stage director at numerous theatres in Los Angeles and Ventura County. Castillo's wife, Dania Quinn Castillo, fondly recalls him as a charismatic and insightful director who was revered for providing the support and guidance that allowed actors to fully develop their characters on stage. After an illustrious career in acting and directing, Castillo retired and moved to Houston in 2012. He is survived by his wife, his grandson, his granddaughter and his great-grandson. Gerald Castillo's diverse talent and lasting legacy will be cherished and remembered in the world of film and television. Tributes to Gerald Castillo. Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.